Now we will illustrate how to test multiple variables with the if then statements. Going to the Visual Basic Editor, to the standard module 3, we have three subs here. In the first sub, we use the else if structure to test multiple variables. In the second sub, we use the if then else nesting. And in the third sub, we use multiple if then statements. Going through the first sub where we use the else if structure to test multiple variables, we are evaluating, we are testing the two variables. The first one represents marks in maths and the second one marks in science. We use a permutation and combination of all possible conditions which we evaluate. In the if statement, we, we evaluate the first condition where marks in maths and science are 40 and above. This will execute the statement which returns pass in both maths and science. The next condition is tested with the else if clause. Marks in maths are 40 or more and marks in science are less than 40 which returns the message pass in maths and fail in science. The next condition being evaluated is marks in maths are less than 40 and marks in science are 40 or more. This will return the message fail in maths and pass in science. If none of these three conditions evaluate to true, none of these three conditions will fall under the else condition which covers ma uh, uh, marks in maths and science both less than 40 which returns the message fail in both maths and science. We have assigned the value of 50 to marks in maths and value of 30 to marks in science which is covered in the condition max, uh, marks in maths 40 and more and marks in science less than 40. So we should, we will get this message returned in a message box, pass in maths and fail in science. Let's execute the code by pressing F5 and you see the corresponding message being displayed. So this is how we use the else if structure to test multiple variables. Going to the next sub where we illustrate how to use the if then else nesting to test the two variables marks in maths and mark, uh, marks in science. Here we have, we are nesting if then statements within the if then else statements. We start with eval eva evaluating the condition marks in maths of 40 and more. In this we have two possibilities. The first one is maths, uh, marks and signs are also 40 or more or else marks and signs are less than 40. If marks and signs are also 40 and more, the message returned is pass in both maths and signs. If marks and signs are less than 40, the message returned is pass in maths and fail in signs. Now this else will evaluate where maths, uh, ma uh, marks and maths are less than 40. In this case, again we have both the possibilities where marks and signs could be 40 or more which will give this message or marks and signs are less than 40 which will return fail in both maths and signs. Assigning the same marks value of 50 to marks in maths and 30 to signs, this will be covered in the In this condition, this this condition will ev evaluate to true, which is an else, and we will get this message displayed: pass in maths and fail in science. Now, pressing F5 to run the sub displays the corresponding message. So, this is how we use 
if then else statements which are nested within if then else statements so now coming to the third sub where we illustrate using multiple if then statements which obviously is not the most efficient method as explained earlier we use these multiple if then statements to test multiple variables that is the two variables of maths and science marks so in the first block of if then statements we have the condition where marks in both maths and science are 40 or more in the next if then block we evaluate the condition where marks in maths are 40 or more and science marks are less than 40 in the third if then block we evaluate the condition where marks in maths are less than 40 and marks in science are 40 or more and in the last if then block we evaluate the condition where marks in both maths and science are less than 40 assigning the same values of 50 to maths and 30 to science this will be satisfied within the second if then statement the condition mentioned in the second if then block so this condition of marks in maths are 40 or more and marks in science are less than 40 will evaluate to true in this case and corresponding message is returned now let's execute the code by pressing f5 and you can see the message being displayed is pass in maths and fail in science so this is how we use the three options of else if structure if then else nesting and multiple if then statements to test multiple variables and remember using multiple if then statements is not the most efficient method because even though as we have shown the second if then block condition eval evaluates to true but the subsequent if then blocks are also executed by testing the subsequent conditions so each of these conditions are being uh, each of these blocks are being executed whereas in the other examples in the other subs on encountering a true condition the subsequent conditions are not evaluated now let us illustrate using is empty if not and is numeric these keywords in if then statements we will illustrate these using a worksheet change event before going to the VBA code we will explain how to use the not operator with the if statement the not operator used on boolean expressions reverses the true value to false and vice versa so the not operator reverses the logic of the if statement from true to false and from false to true. Now let's consider the first statement. If not intersect target range B1, B20 is nothing then. Now breaking it into this sub part of intersect target range B1, B20 this means that if the target cell falls within the range of b1 b20 so if we are changing the cell value of a cell within this range so if this target cell intersects range b1 b20 and is nothing will indicate that if it does not intersect if the target cell does not intersect b1 b20 range and using not will reverse this by indicating if the target cell falls within the b1 b20 range so explaining this again this actually means if the target cell intersects range b1 b20 is something so this indicates that the target cell 
actually in intersects the range B1, B20 or if the target cell intersects or falls within range B1, B20 is not nothing. So not nothing will cancel out. So in the simplest words, if the changed range intersects or falls within the specified range B1, B20, then. Now let's illustrate this in VBA code. Let's go to the Visual Basic Editor. Now this code is in sheet 2 is attached to sheet 2. It's a worksheet change event. So here in this code we use is empty, if not and if is numeric. We use these keywords within the if then statements. This sub will auto run a VBA code when content of a worksheet cell changes with the worksheet change event on the occurrence of a change event. And in this code, the cell value in range B1, B20, that means if the cell intersects range B1, B20 or a cell within the range of B1, B20 is not empty, it is not blank and the cell value is numeric then we will set the background color for cell to yellow. So let us start with the statement which we had explained earlier. If not intersect target range B1, B20 is nothing which implies that the target cell is within specified range of B1, B20. So here we have used the if not statement with the intersect method to determine if target cell is within specified range of B1, B20. In this case, if target cell is empty, is empty target indicates if target cell is empty, is blank or it, if the target cell is does not have a numeric value, is numeric target indicates that the cell value is not numeric after changing then cell will have no background color the interior color of the cell will be set to xl none so the cell will have no background color else meaning that if the target cell is not empty and it has a numeric color uh, numeric value then the target cell background color is set to yellow using this code. We had disabled events to begin with and here we enable events by setting application enable events to true. Now let us illustrate this code by going to sheet 2 to which this code was attached. Here we have a this B1, B20 is the intersect range which we have mentioned in the code. Now let's pick up a blank cell. Let's enter a text value. The background color does not change. Now let's change it to a numeric value. The background color is set to yellow. Let's delete this value. So the cell will have no background color. So let's delete this value again. The cell has no background color. Let's enter a numeric value. The background color is set to yellow. Let's change it to a text value. The cell will have no background color. Let's delete it. The cell still has no background color. Now let's put in a numeric value again. Now the cell will have a yellow background color. So this is how we use the worksheet change event and we have used is empty if not and is numeric keywords here.